In 2023, Samsung's Galaxy S23 series uses only the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, which is made specifically for Samsung. In the past, Samsung used both Qualcomm and Exynos chips for their flagship phones, but in 2023, it didn't release a high-end Exynos chip. They are spending more time developing the next Exynos 2400 chip. Now, Qualcomm's CEO has confirmed that Samsung will go back to using both Qualcomm and Exynos chips for their flagship phones in 2024. Last week, Samsung announced that they will use Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip for their new ISOCELL Zoom Anyplace camera technology in the Galaxy S24. However, they didn't mention the Exynos 2400 chip in this context. Fast forward on November 1, Qualcomm's CEO, Cristiano Amon, had a meeting after announcing the company's earnings for the fourth fiscal quarter. During the conference, he confirmed that Samsung's upcoming flagship phone will once again use two different chips, but this time Qualcomm's chip will be the main one the majority of these phones. While the Galaxy S24 series is expected to use both Exynos and Qualcomm chips in different markets, this two-pronged strategy may not be exactly the same as it was in the past. There might be some differences or changes in how these chips are used compared to previous years. According to several reports, it seems that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will use only the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chip, regardless of the market. However, the base Galaxy S24 model and the Galaxy S24 Plus are expected to use both Exynos and Qualcomm chips. International markets are likely to receive the Exynos version, while specific regions will benefit from the Qualcomm solution. This new strategy might clarify why Qualcomm is confident about having the majority share in the Galaxy S24 series. The Galaxy S24 Ultra could become the best-selling model among the three, especially considering the strong performance of previous Galaxy S flagship phones. This might be even more significant it's the only variant to offer the Snapdragon solution in markets where the Exynos 2400 configuration is otherwise available. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks and see you next time. Peace out.